Hi, in this video we'll learn how to use the Infogix jQuery mask editor control in your web pages. In this sample, we're going to use a couple of examples, one with the phone number and social security. So we'll instantiate two different mask editor controls, uh, one for the phone input and one for social security. So what I have in front of me is uh, Visual Studio 2010 with an MVC project. Uh, I'm going to come down to my project and just add an HTML page. So I'm going to click Add New Item. And I'm going to call this HTML page IG Mask Editor. So my blank HTML page, I'm going to pull in the script and CSS references so that we have all the code we need so that we can instantiate our controls on the client side. First, we need the jQuery core. So we'll drag and drop the jQuery core JavaScript. And uh, next, we need is the jQuery UI. These both are the dependencies of the jQuery client control from Infogistics. Once you have these two, um, you can grab the um, Infogistics JavaScript file and then drop right next to it. So that now, by doing the, this step, you have uh, successfully loaded all the necessary scripts needed for Infogistics client controls to be instantiated and rendered on the client side. Next, we need is uh, the style definitions, um, and everything is handled by CSS. So we're going to grab this idui.min.css and put it in our references. And finally, we need the jQueryUI.customCSS as well. All these scripts in CSS are part of the install. So when you install the product, you can grab these folders directly from the install location and put it in your projects. Okay. Uh, before we write code, we need to have some placeholder in our HTML that we'll use to convert it to the uh, control that we want, in this case, the mask editor. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a couple of developments. And um, one we're going to use for the phone input. So we're going to call it phone input. And the other element uh, we're going to use to convert it into a social security input. So we call it SSN input. Um, once we have these two, we are good to go as far as writing our client script. So I'm going to come back to my head section, um, build up my script block, and use the jQuery onload function so that we know when the page is loaded. We are in the script block and start writing some code to convert these two elements into Infogistics mask under control. Um, first thing we need to do is just grab the elements. So we're going to use the jQuery selector to use to basically grab the phone element, so phone input, and then call the IG mask editor wrapper on it. Now once we do this, we have now successfully converted this diff element into an Infogistics mask editor control. Now in here we can just set up the option that we want for the editor control. So first of all, I'm going to set a null text property which is basically just available for all the editor editor controls and where it does it, it basically displays sort of a prompt text and let the user know what they need to do in uh, in terms of entering values in the input box so we're going to call this or we're going to say enter phone number then we're going to set the input mask which is the main property of this control um, and we're going to make sure that this takes in the phone number so we're going to Put some literal and uh, mask characters into this input mask. So we're going to set uh, open parentheses 000 for the area code and then uh, 000 dash four zeros. But this is our basically mask saying there are 10 digits of the phone number that we want and it, it has some letters around it. So you have parentheses, space, and a, and a dash in the middle dividing the phone number and formatting is uh, the way we want. We are also going to set the required to be true so that we have some validation as well. And uh, lastly, we want to make sure that uh, the validation fires as soon as the user moves off the control. So we're going to set validator options to be on blur. So whenever the user moves off of it, it's going to make sure that uh, uh, it fires up the validation on this control. Okay, so these are basically uh, properties we're going to set in our mask control for the phone, and we're going to do the similar thing to our SSN. So we're going to copy this and paste it 
change the element to SSN input. And we're going to say enter SSN instead of enter phone number. And the mask for SSN is going to be a little different. So we have three numbers, dash, two numbers, and then uh, following four, four numbers. So once we have this, uh, let's right click and view this in the browser. Okay, as you can see that we have now two input boxes here. Our developments are converted into Infinity 6 Mask Editor. The first one says enter phone number and the other one says enter SSN, which is our null text that we set on these controls. And now if you click on it, you see that it, it gives a that nice mask input capability. And I can come here and I can start typing in uh, characters I want. And you will see that it will say please fill all required position, which is the default behavior built into the mask editor control. And because we have set all the digits are required, um, it will it will prompt the user that they have to fill in the entire uh, section of the input box. And then if you move to our SSN, we can continue to do the same thing, and it will be formatted like a SSN uh, field should be. Uh, for the list of all the mask options, you there is a blog on our community side. If you search on mask options in jQuery Mask Editor, you will find that blog, and you'll uh, you'll see, you can see all the different mask options. So you have the ability to set required uh, letter or uh, digit, uh, or you can have optional letter or digit, and depending on what you need, uh, you can create the mask required for your applications. Thanks for watching the video. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.